be hard for me to speak out on this, but when you have a mother that does not even believe their own daughter right here, that's a serious problem to me. And it's a problem in the black community because I'm voicing to you that your husband was inappropriate with me. And why do you not believe that? Y'all lying. Quit lying. I'm lying. Why you am I finna lie to you about that? You stay lying. Coming from my Yo, child this has happened for years, y'all. I come in this. Men in her bed. Y'all, y'all see this? Coming from my child. It's always. You really taking up know him for a long time, that and it don't even matter. I get out of class when I get out of everything. I feel so uncomfortable in this house. And she want to sit up here and take up for this man. Like, you're disgusting. Both of y'all are. I have to get pregnant, take your nap, you take your mom, do all that. Y'all know how hard this is for me to even believe this because this man, I have to come in my home when my mom is supposed to love me. And you want to sit here and put him. This makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. And she want to sit here and justify it. You were sad. You were sad and disgusting human being. I swear to God, I don't even look at you as no mother. I don't even look at you as a mother. This man died, y'all. I can get out. You can get out. So you gonna put me out over this dirty man that I'm. This is what I gotta go through, y'all. This is what I gotta go through. I gotta go through a mother that don't believe their own dog. She birthed me, and you wanna treat me like this, your own blood. I would never do nothing like that to nobody. I got from been through this. I got friends, and you my mama. You are my mama. Don't even go over. I don't even wanna touch you. Get away from me. You and your video can go. How about that? Oh, now you want me, you know what? How about that? How about that? I swear to God. Men dating single mothers comes with a bunch of problems. As a sister, I would never want my brother to date a mother with a child. I really think that once you have a kid, you've kind of made your bed, you should lie in it. If you get lucky and find a husband, that's great, but you're kind of donezo. Like, honestly, I really don't think you should make a child with a man and not marry him. And I think you should never leave if you have a kid with someone. I think I'm gonna ruffle some feathers and I literally don't care because I've been seeing so many of these videos online and they're irking my soul. But when people talk about solo parenting in the context of like, oh, solo parenting, I understand what it's like to be a single parent. No, you don't. No, you don't. Dealing with like your children and the home and all the kind of, all of those like responsibilities, <laughs> dealing with that and having to do like bath time routine and all that kind of stuff like by yourself because like your partner is out at work does not equate single parenthood you don't understand okay Saint being a single parent means you have to make the money and do bath time you have to do every single thing and you don't have help you don't have support you do it all so i really really it's like insensitive when people compare the two solo parenting can be hard okay but it is not compared to being a single parent it's just the the two are not equal katniss everdeen district 12. And that's when he hit me. The best idea I ever had in my entire life. That's the worst idea you ever had in your entire life. Whoever told me that motherhood really wasn't that hard, I'm gonna fuck you up. 
It's over for Kiki Palmer and Darius Jackson. You already know! The outsource confirms to E.T. what her fans long suspected, that the couple called it quits last month after Darius shamed Kiki's outfit at the Usher concert, reminding her, I'm a mother, after all. While the two are co-parenting son Leotis, for now, they aren't together. You have a respect, sister. And how about this time? Oh, oh. The singer and actress are pals. Last month, Usher serenaded her on stage at his show in Vegas. Kiki, last month, having a blast at Usher's Las Vegas residency show, that clip made the rounds online. And Darius wasn't a fan, sharing this critique on social media. It's the outfit, though. You a mom. Oh my gosh, come on, let's talk about it. The internet blasted Darius immediately in the aftermath. But Kiki, she kept it quiet until now, using clever language and a wink to say something without saying something. I'm a mother, after all. Post-breakup, ET's learned Kiki's keeping things moving. Your girl is ready for the par? The source says Kiki's focused on her work and six-month-old son. What about you? Nobody needs me. I do. I need you. You should have too petite. Bazila. Hee ha, yes. You gotta feel like a cowgirl. Let me run it, huh? Yes, 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 yes. Mmm, ice cream so good. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Oh, thank you, baby. This is so cute. Hey! J'ai dit non, vas-y. Je te regarde, quel âge je te regarde? Je te regarde, vas-y. Vas-y, lève-toi, vas-y. Sergio, I got your name. Wow, a lot of gift for you. Vas-y. Vas-y. Lève-toi, marche. Non, ok, je, je, te, je vais venir. Dans 5 secondes, je viens. 5, 4, 3. Hey ha, continue, continue ton chemin. Non, continue ton chemin, je veux pas, je veux pas. Tu viens, tu viens, tu frappes le chien, tu viens, tu fais du bruit, tu cries dans l'oreille du chien. Mais le chien aussi, il comprend qu'est-ce que tu fais, hein? Il aime pas ça. Il va te mordre, vas-y, vas-y. Il va te mordre, il va faire très mal. Lève-toi, vas-y. Vas-y. Je veux pas, je veux pas. Tu, tu emmerdes le chien comme ça, c'est pas gentil. Pourquoi tu fais ça? Vas-y. Le chien est tout petit, tu vas le faire mal. Jaden, arrête! Vas-y! Ok, j'arrive. Vas-y, sinon je viens, je me lève et je viens. Vas-y! Je veux pas, aujourd'hui je veux pas, je veux pas, j'ai pas envie là. J'ai pas envie aujourd'hui, Jaden, vas-y, vas-y! Vas-y, va dans ta chambre, va jouer, fais quelque chose, viens pas emmerder le chien, tu peux pas rester là tranquille, va dans ta chambre alors. Well, I can find food. You can find food. What about weaponry? Are you good with a, a knife, a gun? Well, I'm good with a slingshot. A slingshot? I like it. How old are you? Twelve. Twelve years old. Amazing. Such composure. You had a little catchphrase that you told me backstage. I was very impressed with it. Would you please repeat it for the audience? Well, if they can't catch me, they can't kill me. Don't date not single dating moms. Me when I'm like in my prime because I have four kids. That's the thought process. Am I the only mom that can't even Think straight sometimes. I'm trying to focus and I'm trying to get my shit together, but at the same time, I'm a mom. Somebody's always calling my name. Someone always needs me. Someone always needs me to do something for them, to help them. But I'm trying to help myself. Mom life is so ghetto sometimes. I just don't want to be one of those moms that come on here and constantly complain. Because I love being a mom and I think that's literally my purpose in this life. 
But at the same time, I'm just like, can I get some clarity? <laughs> can I get some quiet and some peace? Can I just get somebody not calling my name? Welcome back to Single Mom Hunger Games, where I highlight the downside of being a single mom. Too many people promote this degenerate behaviour, uplift it rather than give people cautious to how it will not only affect you, but most importantly, the children. Single parents isn't just having a deadbeat dad or either he ghosted, incarcerated or doesn't care about you. Single parent is also moms who willingly leave relationships, make it hard for the dad and take full custody. The name in itself tells you single parents, meaning the relationship with the dad is either non-existent or the mom is single. So anyone fits that category is a single mom. Let's not get lost in the source. What gets me is a lot of these single moms it shows where their priorities really were when they were in their teens or late 20s. They all have something in common. They all never prioritized what is important. Example, we see here the struggle of being a mum. What I would like to know is when did being a single mum was promoted so easily? When was being a single mum ever promoted to have without a father? Sadly today, yes, but overall the general advice is to get married first, to be a wife first, is to build a home with your husband, then comes a baby carriage, right? It was even in a nursery rhyme, a song is some of you remember. This person and this person sit in a tree, K-I-S-S-I-N-G. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes a baby in a baby carriage. Now, I'm not being funny, but did people just think that song was made for children's amusement? Or to learn a valuable lesson about the real consequences of life if you don't make the right choices? They put it in simple terms for children to grasp this single moms for whatever situation they found themselves in didn't prioritize those choices didn't upheld any of those valuable lessons we as adults all know of so when you find yourself a single mom in the midst of struggling you got to know you did this to yourself okay same way for the man you all did this to yourself being a parent was never easy but being a single mom is a burden not only to you as the mom but the child not enough times people are telling this to females keep them legs closed in reality you do reckless things you will find yourself in a reckless reality you should have prioritized what was important first being pure good woman a wife than building a family nowadays females are doing things backwards then complain how hard it is and the man is no good for it those choices you made you did it all by yourself no one forced you i'm single but i have two children but my mom takes care of them but their dad isn't paying child support but i work but the money is not enough. What do you bring to the table? I'm not going to answer this question. This is just something that I wouldn't answer in a date. I'm not going to answer sure, here. Fine. I'm not going to answer how many books I've read. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's well, that power what, dynamic. Here, what do you expect men to bring to the table? Integrity, clarity, consistency, uh, strong connection to divinity not necessarily religion but some kind of purpose based lifestyle so what is the female equivalent of that the same then why wouldn't you just say that at the table when he asks you i 
feel like I always knew I was a baddie because, you know, my mom's a baddie and when your mom's a baddie, you're going to be a baddie. She always get what she want, so I'm a baddie too. I get what I want. Mommy, why are you naked right here? Naked? What are you talking about? Your Instagram. You ain't got no clothes on in almost all of these pictures. Some of these pictures, you're just covering up your private parts. G give me the phone. Give it. I thought I told you to stay off of Instagram. Mommy, I could see your nipples through all of your shirts. You shouldn't have been on Instagram. When can I get on Instagram? Never. You can never get on Instagram. Okay? That's where mommy works. Do, do you work for Fashion Nova? They, they under all your pictures. What? No, honey. Mommy tags Fashion Nova in her pictures so that they can comment which lets other people know that Fashion Nova notices me. So how do you get money? Do, the, do they send it through the cash app? How do you know about that? And sometimes, why are you even asking all of these questions? Look, never, ever, ever get back on Instagram, okay? Okay, mommy. But since I can't get on Instagram, can I see your premium Snapchat? Go to your room. Go to your room. Go to your room. Go to your room. Pray a little. It's really lonely as your friends partner up and you remain single because their priorities change and yours stay the same. I saw a video recently in which a creator explained that when you're single, you're nobody's priority. All your community and your friends and your family do care about you. You're not first on anyone's list. If you've had it before, you understand how lonely this realization is. The thing I observe and grieve most about my singleness is the absence of a container or a buffer in my life and the presence of it in the lives of my friends who are partnered. Instead of needing each other reciprocally, when my friends become partnered, they need me less than I need them. My challenges are my own to weather, my problems are my own to solve, and I don't come home to someone who gives a shit about any of it. But I've learned to stop taking it personally and um, be a container and a buffer for myself. I think I was blindsided by the evolution of my friendships in my 20s until I stopped taking the no text back or the days to text me back personally from my friends who became partnered. Once it happened enough times, I could understand it was not about me and I could access gratitude for my friends' happiness without feeling slighted in the same way that I would want for them to be happy for me if I had found secure companionship. Now I expect the evolution. It doesn't take me by surprise. I appreciate seasons of closeness and friendship and I appreciate the evolution of friendship as I fall out of their priority. I have skills and experiences that people who have partnership may not have to explore and have evolved to understand it as never personal when a friend falls off. They have the container and the buffer of partnership and they don't need friendship in the same way as me. New people show up who need the same thing from friendship as you and relationships evolve. That's the nature of any relationship. Strength can be built by sitting with loneliness in the interim. I will say that my friends who have spent a substantial amount of time building their lives in solitude, who maybe got married when they were older, have an incredible capacity for empathy and they're so considerate and thoughtful of my experience. I hope to be the same sort of relief to others. If you've been taken by the Capitol and hijacked, is this the way that he'd be treating you? You're punishing him for things that are out of his control. Sometimes being a single parent is just like so fucking hard. Like, I hate dropping him off sometimes and he just holds on to me and he doesn't want to go and he's going to have to be there all day long and it's just, I feel so guilty because I feel like I should be doing more for him and it's just fucking hurts. Like, it's just hard sometimes. So I'm a single mom of two and a few weeks back I shared about why I stopped dating. And so many people connected with that video. I made a part one and a part two. So I want to go into part three about also like how I got to that decision and a little bit more detail about one of the reasons why I said in part one. I got to this decision because I just am so tired of dating. And just like finding men that seem great and they obviously put their best foot forward as they always do, as we always do as humans. And I'm just so tired of like putting myself through that. And my kids don't meet every guy I dated, obviously. But even the disappointment that I would feel 
like that affects how I show up for my kids. So a lot of people were like, well, don't introduce them. Like don't introduce every man to your kids, obviously. But even if you saw somebody for a couple months and they disappointed you or whatever, like you show up differently for the people in your life when you're heartbroken. And I just don't want that to be me anymore. Like you could, you could try and pretend and you could really try and just push that past that. But kids feel energy. I'm a hundred percent believer in that. And so when you're heartbroken or when you're disappointed or when you thought somebody was something that they just weren't, especially in dating, you get these blinders and it just hurts even more. And you cannot show up for the people in your life, especially your children, if you're operating from a place of hurt, even if it's outside of them. So yeah, my kids didn't meet guys I dated, obviously, but I showed up different when I was broken or hurting or disappointed in some way. So that's what I meant when I wanted to be 100% all in on my kid. No distraction, no anything, no man, nothing like 100% Sarah and the boys, me and my boys forever. And like I said, that could change. But right now I am so happy in my choices. And I know a lot of you connected with me when I said that I'm just not dating. And I'm so happy that I decided to move on with that aspect of my life. I also want to focus a lot of my time on going back to school and bettering myself career-wise and money-wise. So that's another video when I could go into more depth if you guys are interested about what I'm doing to build a financial future for my kids. But for now, I really love connecting with you guys on this topic. It's such a big topic and I feel like nobody really talks about it in terms of completely stop dating, not interested, not wanting to date. And I love all of your comments. I love connecting with you guys on here. So keep commenting, keep sharing your stories. I just, I really love it. And to all you other single mamas out there, I get it. I'm here for you. I'm with you. We can totally do this. I love this like cute little single mom corner of the internet we're on. As a single mother, I never wanted a man to have the power over me to say, it didn't work out. Doesn't matter. I still fucked you. Yeah, that's important. I never wanted a man to have that power over me because men are vind vindictive in that way. And when things don't go the way that they want, when you hurt their fucking ego, they will use that shit against you. Yeah. So it was very easy for me to abstain from that situation because I always kept that in the back of my mind. So that's why I always laid my cards out on the table. And if I was looking to engage with a man just sexually, I needed to make sure that that's all he wanted to. Because then that's how we interacted with each other. And there was this level of respect between him and I that we held at every single moment that we interacted because I put that foot forward. We don't got that many options. What about there's a lot of guys out there just like you guys that don't want to be with us because we are mothers. Oh. We are mothers and we are single mothers. That wasn't a high five. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Day one post breakup. Let's talk about it. So it sucks. <laughs> Breakups suck. Um, I think right now what I'm feeling is why is it when I hope people can relate to this, but why is it when you break up, right? You're so focused on all the bad, like, oh, you're just so fed up. But then it's like that next day, for some reason now, all you're thinking about is the good. Is it because your brain is just wired to fantasize? Like, I don't understand that. But I hate that that's the case because it's like the only focal point. And now I have a pain in my heart and it fucking hurts. And I have to work all day and I have to think about all these other things. Like, there's so many things to think about. Like, when the day before I left... I parted with half of my check and then an event happened and I'm like, yeah, I can't, I can't stay here. I can't do this. Like I can't allow this for myself anymore. And I left knowing like I'm probably going to be in a bind. And now I need to think about that bind that is on the way to me. And I don't know what the fuck I'm going to even do about it. Like how the hell am I going to pay for this hotel room for the next two weeks? Like, how the hell am I going to make sure my kids eat? Like, how the hell am I even going to get my son to school? He is day two of him missing school because I don't even have a way to get him to school from this hotel. Like, oh my God, there's just so many things to think about. Like, I just, it sucks. It fucking sucks. This is a mess. Um, but I have to stay strong 
and have faith in myself. And I'm grateful for TikTok. Some people might view this as like, you're weird, like, but TikTok's like the only support that I have. I don't have family. I don't have anybody to support me through this. Like I am, it is just me. Like it is, it's just me. I have one friend, one, and she's, she might as well be a million miles away. She's nowhere near me. I'm in Minnesota, she's in Georgia. It's tough, it's really tough. The more promiscuous this generation gets, and feminism pushes it onto females, the more their children will follow suit in a very bad way. Which is why I say single moms are the reason for toxic masculinity and toxic femininity that exist majority of the time. Of course not all the time, as we're having first generation 3 or fours breaking their family structure of standards. Most of the time, it's based off the unstableness the moms cannot provide for their children, their own toxic behaviour influencing the children. Now, dating as a single mom is something I wouldn't advise, as I believe single moms owe it to their children to stay with their dad and to make sure there's a stable relationship, as not all the time single moms will be married, as not all the times men will commit to them or their children. This single mom in particular decided to stop dating as it started to affect her children, as it became reckless, the countless opportunities to fix. But you decided to break a stable relationship. Single moms most of the times always put themselves first, always put what they want, not what the children need. They think the children need them to be happy problem is it's too late to center it around your happiness is happiness gonna give them a dad is happiness gonna give them a less neglected mom is happiness going to give them a stable home is happiness gonna give them the balance they need no so the truth is your happiness is the least of their and your problem now you have single moms who are struggling after breakups because they're in this consistent changes just because they want to date they want to do the same thing that got them in this mess find yourself struggling after a breakup find yourself not struggling to pay bills day one post breakup please shut it down day one of focusing on my child is what it should be single moms are their own problems single moms will do the same thing over and over again will never take accountability for it so they will never learn from their lessons because they continuously persist on how it never is their fault but you still find yourself in the same problematic situations or even worse the common denominator is you okay so yes begging on tiktok for money yeah makes me feel like the absolute scum of the planet it doesn't feel good at all is that what you hateful people would like to hear that i feel absolutely horrible and shitty and i look like a um, what was those messages i'm a horrible parent i need to give my kids up i like does that make you feel better yeah great you have beat me down yeah i feel like absolute shit yeah. and you know what it brought me down so bad <clears throat> that I even thought about taking all of this down and being like, just, just fuck it. But you know what? Fuck you guys. Because my kids, to me, are so fucking worth whatever embarrassment, whatever hoops of fire I have to jump through, I don't care. They're worth it. I don't care how people look at me. I don't care. The only thing I care about is keeping a roof over their head and food in their bellies, okay? I'm not a loser. I actually work. I work from home, okay? I, I, I do work. When I left, not that I even have to explain myself, but since so many questions are out there, when I left, I was down already half of my check. I gave half of my check to that fucking piece of shit ex of mine. Do you think he's going to give me my $700 back? Fuck no. 
Fuck no. And I find it so funny because just the other night, I have almost 15 grand in my pocket. Then give me my money back. What did you need my money for? I wasn't going to stay there and take that shit not one more fucking day. And fuck him. I don't even want to think about him right now. Like, that is just so whatever. Fuck him. But I am in a bind. Okay, it sucks. I have $194 to my name. Thank you to everybody that has supported me. Thus far, I have been able to extend my room by two days and I have people working on some things. I, I have some things that I'm, I'm working on, but yeah, I need help. And it's so embarrassing that I have to make a GoFundMe. I've never been in a position like this ever. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Like I'm just, I'm just doing, okay? The sisterhood that I have made on fucking TikTok is the only family I have outside of my best friend who is kind enough to open her doors to me. It makes no sense staying in. It doesn't make sense to go to a shelter. I can't work from home and I'm not going to lose my job. That's retarded to me. That's stupid. Um, I can't, it would be so stupid to stay in a hotel when it's going to literally cost me up to four grand a month to stay here when I can just flee take off to georgia but i just don't have the funds today i i can't make any moves today so yeah great i feel like shit is that what you wanted to hear you mean yes 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 hello hello what time is it damn it i missed the show shit, i'm so tired yeah, I'm a mother. After all. I'm your host, Remnant Princess. These are my last thoughts. The Single Mom Hunger Games. It highlights the different problems that single moms have. But instead of actually making it known or a lot of females to be aware of it, they instead promote it. So I like to highlight the problems that are really occurring. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.